Yo, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, a couple days ago I reported about the Ghostface Operator coming during the haunting event for Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. Still super duper hyped and excited to see this iconic Halloween character come into Call of Duty. But today we got a bunch of updates regarding the haunting game modes for Cold War multiplayer and Warzone and a little bit more in-depth look at Nuketown Halloween. So we're gonna be going over all of this and so much more. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna be watching some uh, Vanguard beta gameplay in the background. I have a bunch of it saved up on my hard drive. I wanna get rid of it, so yeah, hopefully y'all do enjoy that in the background. But now onto the video. Data miners were able to find the audio lines for Ghostface, and uh, believe it or not, Activision was able to get the actual voice actor of Ghostface, Roger Jackson, to come in and do the voice lines for the in-game operator, so Hats off to them for pulling that off. I'm crossing my fingers that hopefully we could get a behind the scenes look at that. I would love to see the entire process unfold and maybe like an interview of some sorts. But yeah, very, very cool that Activision was able to get Roger Jackson to come in and do the voice lines. But anyways, guys, if y'all wanna do check out the voice lines, I'll see if I can find a link and I'll put it down below in the description. But the reason why I bring this up is because some of the voice lines hint at a new game mode that revolves around Ghostface and the game mode is gonna be called a Scream Deathmatch. Data miners were actually able to get their hands on a Scream Deathmatch early, and I'm gonna post an in-game screenshot down below for you guys. Now, if you're playing as a ghost face, your POV kinda of looks like how your sight would appear if you're wearing a mask, so definitely recommend checking it out. It's very, very cool. So again, if you want an early sneak peek, the link is gonna be down below. But also, the description of Scream Deathmatch says, Survivors must hide from the killers. Screams will give away your position, so be ready to move. Two killers are selected each round and must find and eliminate all survivors before the time expires. Pinpoint these survivors from the sound of their screams and it also looks like the two ghost faces will have a tracker turned on to see an enemy footsteps. So that could be very, very useful for the ghost faces, not so much for the survivors. But to win, survivors must last until the time limit runs out or eliminate both killers as the final survivor. Killers must find and eliminate all survivors. So to me, this mode does sound like a mix of prop hunt and infected a little bit, and I am definitely gonna be playing this mode a lot. Another spooky game mode coming, but for Warzone, Verdansk is gonna be set at night, and a new mode is gonna be called Ghosts of Verdansk, and in this mode, there will be humans and ghosts. I'm gonna post a little in-game screenshot down below for you guys too, and I believe this game mode is gonna be similar to the zombie outbreak mode from last year's Haunting of Verdansk event, so, if you die, you will turn into a ghost of Verdansk, and you can kill other humans, collect their souls, and redeploy back into the game as a human. So there are gonna be these specific locations called Sacred Grounds. Now, what's important about these locations is they're gonna lower your fear meter, and if your fear meter gets too high, you will start to experience hallucinations, jump scares, and who knows what else. The ghost will also be able to fly or levitate, and probably some other special abilities as well. So this new LTM sounds super duper fun. I cannot wait to get my hands on this game mode for Warzone. And yeah, hopefully like last year, I'll be able to get a win and post it for you guys. And yeah, I just cannot wait to play this new Ghost of Dance game mode. Now, lastly, I wanna show you guys some Spooktown 84 cinematic previews. So pretty much like what everybody thought, Nuketown is gonna be getting a reskin, but it's gonna be decked out with a bunch of Halloween type spooky, scary, you know, decorations. There's gonna be lights, spider webs, uh, pumpkins all over the map. The map just looks very, very festive for Halloween. And yeah, I cannot wait to play this spooky, scary Nuketown version. I'm gonna be uploading some gameplay too here on the channel when it does go live. And yeah, I think all this stuff is gonna be going live on October the 19th at the start of the haunting event. I think we're gonna be getting the Scream Operator on this day too as well. I got a lot of comments in my last video when it will the uh, the Operator come to Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be coming on the 19th, but maybe it'll come earlier, cross our fingers, but yeah, those are just a couple of updates for the haunting event, guys. Call of Duty is gonna be making so much money during this haunting event, guys. Like, everybody's gonna be buying that Ghostface Operator. I know I for sure am like, I mean, come on, it's freaking Ghostface in Call of Duty. Like, this is so, so cool. I gotta, I gotta have all my Halloween spooky character operators for Call of Duty, so. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna be shelling out money on this operator. But yeah, guys, these are just a couple of updates coming to Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. Please tell me your thoughts about all this down below in the comments, guys. I really, really wanna know your thoughts about 
the uh, new LTMs, the game modes, the Spook Town map. Just again, please tell me down below in the comments, guys. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for all your support. I love you guys so, so much for real. I really, really do. Just all y'all's interaction, uh, comments, feedbacks, tweets, everything just means so, so much to me, guys. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Truly, thank you. More content on the way, guys. Have been a little bit busy with school and work this semester, but uh, hopefully, uh, you know, it's going to start getting more clear and more easier for me as uh, the months do go on here. But I'm not going to be going away. If I don't upload for like a week, don't worry because I'm still here. I'm still paying attention. I'm still, you know, in tune with what's going on. But uh, as for the video production, just maybe a little bit delayed. But again, not to worry. I'm still here. I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see y'all later.